I think we're recording now. All right, Jax, push us off. We're going to test a boat out. So we return. Just like that. Roller bunk trailer. Way too easy. We have one gauge, RPM gauge. We're 500 RPMs right now. It's a fuel injected, 115 horsepower Yamaha engine. I think it's a 2006. I can't remember. Okay, because I know it's not original the boat, because we are in a 1983 Arima Sea Chaser 17 footer. Seaworthy little sucker. Even though we're on a lake, not a sea, and it's super calm today, see all the paddle boarders out here? Yeah, we might stir things up a little bit. Apologize, guys. So we're gonna trim that motor all the way down. There it goes, there it goes. Trim all the way down, keep on going. Oh, hear it there. Okay, we're gonna turn this boat around. I'm gonna stick you in this cup holder right here. Hey, that fits perfect. So you're in the cup holder while I can drive. So we'll go ahead and give it a run real quick, and then I'll show you what it looks like once we get it going. It's just you never know what you're gonna get into. It's the first run on the water with this boat. Okay, it's hopping up on plane, trimmed all the way down, bow sticks way up in the air, and then finds its way back down. There we go. Prop of the kicker motors out. Okay, we're at 4,000 RPMs here. All right. There we are. Okay. We're gonna give it a full on run. Let's power up here. Our Lowrance sees the day. That's their uh, saying, I guess, on there now. HDS5. Motor does hold a line here, or no hands. At least at 4,000 RPMs, it holds straight. That's nice. Boat's not listing too much. If anything, it's listing to the starboard side, or the port side, and the starboard side's high. So, you know, with a one passenger, or, I mean, one, one person driving, it's at least flat, uh, being counterbalanced by the trolling motor. Okay, and accept that. Let's go ahead and get our Stuff. Let's uh, pages. Let's see here. Oh, nice charts. Okay, miles per hour right there, 24.2 at 4,000 RPMs. I shall bring the speed up a little bit. And I have to hold you here. Thirty miles an hour, six thousand RPMs almost. There's six thousand full throttle there. Six thousand thirty-six miles an hour. Thirty-seven miles an hour. Dang. There we go. I'm going to spin us around here. Do a big turn out here. We're going to go hit our own wake here in a second. Nice tight turn. Boat's tacking the turn good. Nice cruising speed. This boat really likes this 25 mile an hour range. Just sits there and it likes to stick right there. Everything just kind of flows. If you like that drone footage that Jackson puts on, oh, there's the drone up in the sky coming over us. Maybe you'll see it. There is you looking at yourself at the video, looking at the video. Okay, we're now going to bring that full speed again. I gotta hold my wheel. The wheel is turning a little bit. Not a bad deal here. Let's go ahead and kick up the speed. Full throttle ahead. Trim up in the air. Bring the trim up a little more. Beautiful. Just 
just like that. Six thousand RPMs, thirty-seven and a half miles an hour. That's cooking along real good. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have a 1987 Arima Sea Chaser up for sale. This one's gonna be a sweet deal for a sweet offshore fishing boat. Let's show you around it. I think you'll be, I hope you're impressed. But it's what we've got, so what we got is what we got. Easy loader galvanized trailer. And hey, of all things, it's got a brand new strap. That means it's not gonna fall off most likely. There you go. Uh, we've got uh, a big wheel jack on the other side, spare tire that, so-so, eh, I don't know if it's that great. Uh, I like how they do the double roller on these. It gives it a good spot. You shoot between the two, locks it into place. Um, solid hole on this inside and out. We definitely check the floor, the transom, everything for any squish or any, any kind of sign of, of rock, rock solid boat. Okay, uh, nice big bow rail going around with a walk around the front here. A cool little cuddy cabin inside for some storage. You might fit in there, might not. I don't think it's really a sleeping quarters, but we can see about that. Rollers on the trailer make it easy to load and launch. Flies right on and off. We had It was an easy, easy load on this boat. Uh, we've got uh, pretty decent tires on the trailer. They look like they're actually in pretty darn good shape. Uh, solid, no cracking. The uh, trailer has, uh, I think, no, I don't know, LED light. No, non-LED lights. Those are some kind of crazy lights on there. I don't know if that flies or not. I'd probably just get the new easy loaders and replace those. Uh, new prop on here and here. Oh, we even propped this, a new prop, brand new prop. And... We had those RPMs perfect, right on the money. That was a lucky shot. 115 four-stroke Yamaha. The motor is a 2005, I believe, 2004. No, 2000, 2000 even. EFI, fuel, uh, fuel injected, starts up, runs amazing, just like a brand new one. It sounds exactly like a brand new one. Okay, and then the eight horse is pretty good shape here. Uh, only thing I noticed on it was that the handle here on the end, it kind of moves around a little bit, but it's solid up here, but that moves around a little bit when you do that. But shifting in and out of gear, starting it, started right up. Um, great, great that way. So it's doing good there. Uh, new prop on that too. Uh, let's see, we've got a... A um, little bit of damage here I wanted to point out. A couple of scratches here on the on the stri uh, stripe, on the pinstriping. A little bit on this back corner, dock rub. Uh, on the other side there was something too. Let's go look at that real quick. I want to point that out. It looks like it hit something, scratched it on the dock there. A couple of scrapes here. Oh, here it is where the fiberglass has been repaired right there. And then underneath the boat, uh, that looks almost perfect. There's a nice scratch right here, probably a trailer loading scratch, but pretty perfect on that. All right, I'll hop up in here and we'll show you around on the interior of the boat. That's one thing about it too is getting in and out of this boat, you pretty much got to have a ladder because as you can see, there's nowhere to step to get in and out of the boat. You can jump on this fender like I'm gonna do, but that's kind of sucky and hard to do. Okay, so coming into the boat, big work area back here. Lots and lots of space. Like I said, solid floor panels. We got a nice big fish well down here in the middle with a removable fish bucket. Man, they still have that, that's crazy. Large area for a lot of fish down in the build. Or, or in the fish hold. I think there's a forward fish hold here. It drains down into the bilge. Okay, and then it's got a cabin. Lift up that tiny little piece. All right, that should sleep four or five comfortably. We've got the canvases for it, but the bars, we don't have any bars for it, no bars for it. 
but there are some canvases for a template if you wanted to redo the top area um, or just probably just go up for a new one but there are the it looks like side curtains and top and backdrop there uh, light up here in the front and it works for that this area this thing comes out here uh, this customer moved the batteries up forward uh, get some more weight up there and mm -hmm. if you know on these aremas they're typically in the back but it gets nasty back there when you're cleaning up the boat and stuff so it's really nice having them forward that that way uh, was something here don't know anymore a cup holder for a 12 ounce can only and a grab bar up here for for a uh, passenger uh, fire extinguisher a Lawrence HDS5 we shot that in the video of it running We've got a unit in VHF, or VHF radio there. And we've got uh, running lights, anchor lights, wiper. Don't know if that even, that switch doesn't even want to turn on. So I don't know if that works or not on the wiper. Of course, it's like that big of a window. I think you could just look over it if it's too dirty. Okay, and then uh, walk around on the boat. This is one thing I love about this hole. There's a step here, and then you have a walk around the whole boat for the front you could sit up here you could sit up on the front here and fish two people could fish off the front here jig and there's a plenty of room you can grab the windshield there to walk through and there's a step back down into the cockpit area here uh, the fuel tank sits back here so you've got fuel right there it looks like capacity on that fuel is 23 gallons so we got 23 gallon fuel tank there a fuel water separator, a battery switch, which I'm turning off now so we don't forget. There we go. This side right here is underneath the little uh, bait tank. That's where the batteries were. At this point, it's free to do whatever you want with. These are the little bait tanks here. Pretty cool little place. Use it for an ice cooler or ice chest. One on each side. Right there, you can plug them off and even throw bait in there. Again, 12 ounce cans only. And there are a couple of rod holders out the back. And then it is set up for uh, Scotty right here. And there's a Scotty on that side too, the striker ones. These are the heavy duty rod holders that they've got. That's perfect. Uh, it looks like we've got 12 volt plugs here for electric reels on both sides. So that's all been done. Um, you see in the video, we've got the running video coming up here, or you've already seen it, one of the two, and that is going to show you a little bit about um, operations, steering, everything like that. Overall, the boat ran out really quite well. I was pretty impressed. The motor runs sweet. Both motors run really good, so that was rock solid. The, the hull rode in the water really well, uh, took, the, took the chop that we threw up did it really good so if this boat interests you uh, 1987 and then a 2115 and then uh, a lot newer Yamaha a horse uh, that is a power uh, or electric start there as well then that uh, then this boats it we you see the price here we're trying to be pretty reasonable on we want to sell it bad so come over here make us a deal let's work on it and get it to make it to you so you can get out there and fish with this thing it looks like it is be an offshore fishing machine for a little 17 foot boat I think it'll do really, really well. Uh, river boat, lake boat too. Uh, plenty of power at the 115. That was really responsive. We did uh, 37 miles an hour or whatever it is. You saw it on the video. Uh, did really well. So we're right here on Highway 101 in Florence, Oregon, right on the coast of Oregon, right in the middle, uh, right side of Eugene. An hour from Eugene, straight onto the coast. Come out here, have a nice little vacation or uh, stay or whatever, and, and uh, check out the boat. We've got actually quite a few other boats here on the lot. That's Highway 101 you see right behind us. And then there's the building right there behind us. The entrance is on the left side. Uh, we're always hanging out there. Got a bunch of cool accessories inside the, the store, but it's just a small shop here on the Oregon coast. And so we've got boats here. Uh, White Marina is right there. So if we don't have the boat you want, you can come down and look at the boats they have too. They have all kinds of new boats over there. And so lots of boats in this little area right here. Florence, Oregon. Come and see us. Bring Marine.